Daddy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We back on another episode of Striker Eats TV. Um, today we're going to be doing crab cakes, um, my style. You know, I know it's a lot of chefs um, and people that's in the culinary arts field that follow me. I know we got to do things this way, that way, but we're doing it my way today. So just bear with me, all right? So the first thing we doing is uh, I got some shrimp. You know, you want to also um, peel them, clean them with water. And what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a technique. I'm kind of butterflying them. This is something different that I'm, that I'm, you know, sometimes I kind of, you know, I might butterfly them. So today I said, you know, we're gonna make crab cakes. Let's butterfly them as well. So as you can see, I'm putting them flat down. And as I put them flat down, I'm making sure that the knife goes through them. And what you want to also too is you want to check and make sure that you're cleaning them as well. Here we have the seafood magic. We're going to use one tablespoon of that. Um, you want to make sure that the you know the shrimps is pat dry when you about to put your mixture in. Do another tablespoon of garlic powder. And last, you know, we gotta use um, we gotta use that old bag. You know, a tablespoon of that. And drizzle it with some uh, olive oil and black pepper. Give them a good swirl in. Look at look at that goodness right there. Just look at that goodness. Ah. A little, more, a little more black pepper, man. As y'all can see, you know, that's my favorite ingredient. I, I love black pepper. I think you can never go wrong with it. And there go that celery seed that I told y'all before. If y'all was checking in on the last one, you know I say I, I told y'all I used that celery seed. That celery seed, it, it does something. It does something to the spirits, to the souls, and, and to the heart and the mind. All right. We're going to go back with some uh, parsley. Just give it another swirl in. Ahead and uh, get a half of onion. We're gonna get a good chop, and we're gonna dice this uh, dice this onion up. You know, pretty small. Um, I ain't the you know the fastest chopper in the world, but you know I get the job done. So go ahead and just you know mince it all the way down. Try to get it as small as possible. Nobody wants some big chunks of, of onions in, in the crab cake. That's, that's not what we shooting for here. No sir. Up, keep chopping. That's aspen in the background. Hey, look, right now, <clears throat> I know you see the green pepper right there, but we only gonna use a red pepper. Um, I decided against the green pepper. I believe it just it just gives it a different taste. But you guys can go ahead and use the green pepper if that's what you like. Remember, it's all to your liking. I decided against it. Dicing this up real small. Um, we got fresh parsley and uh, fresh chives that we got from a local farmer's market. Um, it's always great to put in some fresh herbs. You want to get them down, chop them down relatively small uh, as far as the chops. Remember, you ain't gotta be the quickest uh, chopper in the world, man. Don't chop your fingers off. That's the number one rule. In a large mixing bowl, add your mayo, add your brown mustard, and make sure you add your Dijon mustard. I, I love a nice mustardy crab cake. I'm pretty sure somebody else out there do, probably the same way. But then again, there goes might be something that don't. So, you know, make sure that you're cooking to your liking. You know, some people may be allergic to it. But this is what we're doing today. Um, we're gonna whisk it out. Whisk out the, uh, the mayo and the, uh, and the mustard. We're gonna add in a squeeze of a lemon another whisk and put in your Worcestershire sauce. 
Ah, y'all thought I was gonna say that wrong this time. Nope, I got it. Uh uh, it's not happening. I'm a little more polished this one. Let's go. <laughs> All right, um, you add in your hot sauce. A few drops of that. Um, you see, I switched from a from from a whisk to a fork because I'm more comfortable using that. Comfortability at its best. That's what we, we ha you have to do. You gotta find out what works for you. Add in your minced garlic. Black pepper. You know, the ground black pepper. Can't go wrong. See, that's the trick right there. The pink Himalayan sea salt. Got a lot of Mr. Magic. Maryland lump, Jumbo Lump Crab Meat. Add in your peppers, add in your onions. And we switching things, we're going to a spoon now. I mean, you don't want to break up, you spend too much money on that crab meat, man. You don't want to break that crab meat up. You know, this ain't no this ain't no regular deck with crab cake right here. This, this ain't, this, 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 no, no offense, this ain't your mama crab cake. All right, get the spoon, spoon it in, spoon it in. You see, you don't want to break it up. You want that form to still be there. That celery seed, that's my one, two. I'm gonna give me all my one, two. Obey. People say you don't need obey, son. We using obey. You can't forget about obey. The breadcrumbs, this is how we forming this crab cake. I got other tricks and tools that I use to kind of get it, you know, get the consistency that I want. Um, I'll give y'all that next time. But today we just using regular old breadcrumb. Ah, look at that, look at that. Almost forgot, almost forgot. You gotta add a little garlic powder. Don't forget the garlic, don't forget the garlic powder, man. You can't forget it, I almost forgot. Give him another stir in. Uh-uh. Cover the refrigerator for an hour. Now, right now, I'm giving y'all sriracha mayo that we're going to be using as a side. Get your sriracha. Equal sriracha. Equal mayo. Simple, simple, simple. Give it a good clink, clink, clink. Get a spoon, add in a little olive oil. Add in some garlic, some garlic powder, parsley, and last but not least, the black pepper. Get another swirl in uh, with a spoon. Give it a taste. Remember, we're getting this to our liking. You might need to add a little more sriracha, a little more mayo. It's all to your liking. Put that in the refrigerator as well. In the oven pan, I'll be using like a circular, big, larger pan. Um, you want to add in some olive oil. I put it on a piece of paper and just, you know, kind of blanch it around. You want to fold in your crab cakes, put them on there. This don't got to be perfect, y'all. Listen, ain't nothing. My stuff, it don't, it might look perfect, but we be winging it every night, man. If you got to wing it, wing it. You know, get comfortable in the kitchen. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So let's move. action ah, drop them down get your oven preheated to 350 throw it in the crab cakes in the oven out the oven Dang! look at them bad boys 
don't forget to broil the top of them. Get yourself uh, a pan uh, with olive oil, medium heat. Right here, we're using a grill pan. up you want to make sure that your pan is hot all right medium heat you do not want your shrimp to sit for too long i repeat you do not want your shrimp to sit for too long the shrimp shouldn't have to wait for the pan to heat up should already it should already be ready for the party give it a good turn and when you, you know, when you, when you cut them butterfly, you know, they kind of act a little different. They act a little bougier than normal. So you might have to give them a couple few flips, and, you know, things like that. Look at them, looking good. Some fresh lemon. Salted French butter. I don't know where you guys are at. If you can find it, you know, get it. Or you can go back to old Lando Lakes. It don't matter. And I, we didn't get a check from Lando Lakes neither, so I might have to edit that one out. In the pan, get all the butter, get all the goodness, stir them around. Remember too, if the pan is too hot and the stuff is burning, you got control of this, you know? Remove the pan from the stove, you know? Or turn the heat down. Add in your, your uh, minced garlic glass, because you, you don't want the minced garlic to burn. Ah. Got the asparagus, get the chop. Make sure that you, you know, uh, uh, clean them off, and you want to pat them dry. I just use a regular piece of paper. Get your uh, pan. Some melted butter. Make sure that the pan is, uh, you know, medium hot. Go in your asparagus. Give a good shake in. You know, you want the butter to get all around and get in between each particle of the asparagus. Like, you, you, you want all of that. This one, all the smoke, so you got to get it to it. butter make sure it's in there um, we're going to cook this on low heat covered we're going to let the steam do the rest roughly about a good 15 minutes got to add the minced garlic at the end Ah, I wish y'all could. I wish y'all could taste this. The pink Himalayan salt at the end, and you can't forget the what? That black pepper. Give it a little shaky shake. Bring it up so I can smell it. Yeah, that's it. Ah. Ooh, ice cube pink. Grapefruit with the Chardonnay. Here we are, here we are. Mm, mm, mm. This ain't your this, this ain't your grandmama crab cake, man. It's just not that. Big mama, I apologize. We always loved your recipes. See, we not using any starches, anything like that. Just strictly clean food. Uh, crab cake, shrimp, and asparagus. And we got a sriracha mayo inside it with. And we're washing it down with a nice ice cold glass of Chardonnay with the pink grapefruit juice. 
for that long day that y'all had. Because I had it with y'all, man. My days were long. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. We still working. We getting the kinks out. Like, subscribe, share. And join us next time.